Hello all, Shoestring here. I've had several questions recently about charging these fly power lithium batteries with the charger. As you can see, I have this one already hooked up in my battery room to the charge controller. But you can still charge it if you wanted to at the same time to increase its charge with the charger that comes with it. That's what we're going to talk about today, is charging it with the charger that comes with it, which is right here. These are inexpensive, well, what I call it expensive, lithium batteries. You can get them for about $300, 100 amp hours. It comes, by the way, with this charger that works really well. And the question was, if you hook up the charger, will it drain the battery if it's not plugged in? Now, I understand where the question comes from question comes from when you do a charge controller, the charge controller draws its power from the battery. So if the charge controller is not hooked to a solar panel and you're not getting any sunlight, then it will, of course, drain the power. These chargers, though, are a little different because they get plugged into a household outlet. Here's the connection that goes into the battery see that three pronged and of course here's the side that goes into the outlet we're going to show you how that works all right so we come to the battery these batteries have uh, a power button where you can turn it on and see the voltage see right there 13.3 right. also there is a usb right in here that you can hopefully you can see that you can plug your devices into it and charge it directly from the battery, which is pretty cute. Here, though, is where you plug in the charger that goes into the, into the wall. Now, another point, let's make sure we understand. If this is not hooked up to a charge controller and it's just sitting there playing. If you turn the power on, that is, of course, going to draw power from the battery. So it will, of course, drain it. It'll take some time. These lithium batteries last for a very long time, but eventually it will. Okay, so let's go back to the charger. As you can see, three pronged in there. Our charger is also three pronged, right? So we will just line them up and slide it right in, turn it so it's nice and tight, there. And the charger is now connected to the battery itself, okay? We can turn it off. The power button doesn't have anything to do with charging the battery. It just lets you see the voltage and it operates the USBs. Okay, so next step is we're going to take the charger, which is now connected to the battery. And we are going to connect it to the wall. As you can see, it is connected to the battery and the light is not on. Let you see both sides. Okay, the light is not on because it is drawing no power from the battery. So it is not going to drain the battery. Okay, I've just plugged it in. Let it hang here just a moment so you guys can see it really well. It is now plugged in. You can probably hear it starting to make noise. And the red light is on. Red light is on because it's not charged. This is a lithium battery, so it charges up to about 14.6. Anyway, so as you can see, it's now charging. It will stay charging until it gets to the appropriate charge, which I said for these are 14.6. And then it will turn green. Once the power light turns green, it is now charged and you can unplug it. What if you don't unplug it? If you don't unplug it, nothing happens because this charger will stop charging the battery. It won't damage it. Of course, you'll be taking power from your house. You don't really need to leave the light on green, but it will cause no damage. So that is the basics of how you charge these batteries. I appreciate the question. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. 
and shoestring 